Hello everyone, hello to my friends around the world and once in New York and in New Jersey and in Italy. I have just um, felt compelled to record this song, this prayer, a medieval prayer and chant in honor of the Black Madonna from Montserrat, Spain, but also connected to our Black Madonna from Calabria. This one, La Madonna dei Poveri, Our Lady of the Poor. This was a tradition in the Middle Ages to sing and pray to the Black Madonnas and carry them in the street to ask for healing and protection from fear, from fear of death by the plague, also from fear of death by wars, the Crusades. But there are many, many accounts and many stories about how certain towns were saved from the plague with these processions in honor of the Black Madonna. And people used to honor them, and they still do as a tradition in the south of Italy, especially in Calabria, with drumming really fast, six, eight rhythms, spinning around and dancing, and letting go fear and asking her, our great mother, for pity and make a vow that if they were healed, they would go back every year, every year to repeat the same ritual and make a sacrifice. So this is my wish, it's been my intention to offer this to, as a prayer with all my musicians, with my artists, and I thank them all for helping me especially the ones that are always part of my performances who have been doing this prayer, Cultisimus Concanentes, on stage for 15 years, recreating that, that scene of sending away fear and sending away death by the plague. So thank you to everyone, Joe Denenson, Wilson Montuori, Steve Gorn, Vinny Shala, all the dancers, Francesca Silvano, Fabiana and more, Daniel Hartman, Daniela Alessandra, Giulia Gentile, so many are helping me, Caterina Rago, 
and our video editor, Herb Brooks. Um, I see this as a collective prayer. I was compelled to do that as one night as I was sitting alone here in my apartment in this quarantine. I really started kind of freaking out as I started hearing voices. It was 2 a.m. I live in a very quiet place by the river. There is no one really here around me speaking at 2 a.m. And I could hear these voices coming from the wind from the north. And they were like people moaning, people praying the rosary in a church with that kind of echo. And then it stopped and I went out to look if there was somebody there. Of course, there was nobody there on my balcony or anybody. And then I heard it again. And then across the river, I'd see Manhattan and it felt like there were people moaning they were dying from the co coronavirus. So it was very strong and I felt like crying and I, I really started praying and I thought, okay, I have to offer a prayer to the Madonna for all of us, especially for the people that are in between worlds right now. And then and as I was going to sleep and I was putting my phone away, these three ch uh, chants appeared, the same song, Cuntissimus Concanentes, on my phone by themselves, three different versions of the same song. One, of course, is mine that I recorded on stage. Two, some other people put them on YouTube without my permission. I didn't know they existed. So there they were, right in front of my eyes. And the Black Madonna was really telling me, you have to do this, you have to do it now. I believe in prayers. I believe that she can protect us and take away this contagious disease we're suffering from, just like in the Middle Ages. As, and this, I also believe that if we honor her as who she is, she represents also the Earth Mother. Then we need to understand that we've been hurting our Earth Mother too much and that we need to respect her as a living being or we will not be around that long. And I do feel strongly, like many people do, that this is a call for us to stop. We all have to stop. So now there is less pollution, less airplanes, less cars and the water of certain seas that were really dirty is now clean. All these things are happening that are showing us that she needed us to stop. And we had to do it in the rough way because we did not listen to respect her the way she's supposed to be respected. Our mother, earth mother, the womb of the earth, where we come from. So this is my prayer that she will listen to us with this uh, collective ritual and that she will grant us the grace to take away this virus and to help the doctors to find a cure. And that also we promise as a vow that we will take care of her as a living being and not do anything wrong to her to destroy her. Grazie, Grande Madre.